This is amazing. Now we have LM Studio CLI. So what is CLI? You are able to run LM Studio from your terminal like this. You are able to download large language models. You are able to load the large language model. Same like you do it for Olama. You can load and unload LMS or large language model. Start, stop local server. Debug your workloads. This is going to be super useful for developers who want to integrate a large language model in their application or for those who create AI applications. I'm going to show you how you can use LM Studio CLI and use it more efficiently. How to integrate that with your Python application and finally teach you how to create a user interface such as a chatbot like this where you can ask give me a meal plan for today or any question and it can automatically generate a response which is directly linked with LM Studio. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about LMS. LMS is LM Studio in your terminal. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to install this application, show you the different commands which you can use to access this application, and finally create a user interface like this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. In this we are going to see how to download a large language model, then how to start the server using CLI, then how to load the model via CLI, then finally how to integrate that in your own application. So first, go to lmstudio.ai website. There you can download LM Studio application. After that, open that application and search for the model which you want to use. I'm going to use Llama 3. 8B Instruct. By clicking the download button of your choice, you can download the model. Here I'm going to use Llama 3, which you can see I have downloaded that here. So the next step is to stop the server. So instead of using the application, I'm coming to the terminal. Here, make sure you have downloaded Node.js. You can download Node.js from nodejs.org website. After that, you can type npx lm studio install hyphen CLI and then click enter. This will install the CLI package. Next, pip install OpenAI Chainlit and then click enter. We are using OpenAI as a proxy for our LM Studio server. Using Chainlit, we are going to set up a chatbot like user interface. Now we are ready to start the server. Just type LMS server start and then click enter. Now you can see the server got started in port number 1234. So that is localhost colon 1234. Next, you can see the list of models downloaded by just typing LMS LS and then click enter. Here you can see the list of models I've downloaded and totally it's taking 72 GB of disk space. And next step is to load the large language model. To do that, LMS load Llama 3 hyphen hyphen GPU equals max and then click enter. Now you can see the Llama 3 model is loading. Model loaded successfully. Now you can test if the server has started or not by typing curl and the endpoint, localhost 1234, chat completions, and then click enter. Now you can see the response is getting generated and it is done. So this confirms it is working fine. I can even stop the streaming by just typing stream equals false and then click enter. Now I got a response instantly without streaming. So this is all working in the terminal. Now we are going to integrate that in the Python application. To do that, let's create a file called app.py and let's open it. Inside the file from OpenAI, import OpenAI. Next, define the OpenAI function. Next, chat completions create function. Here we are providing the large language model name that is meta llama 38b instruct gguf. If you want to get the information of this, you can even get that from your terminal by typing lms ls and click enter. And here you can see the loaded model. So you can just copy this model name and then paste that here. That's it. Then you're providing the usual information, the messages, temperature. Finally, you're going to print the response. That's it. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. And here is the response. So I asked, introduce yourself. And here is the response. I'm a large language model. My name is Llama. It's true. I'll chat with you and see this conversation through. Because we gave an instruction saying that always answer in rhymes. That's why you saw the response as rhymes. To screen the response, I just modified stream equals true and added this for loop. That's it. Now let's see running this. The question I'm going to ask is give me a meal plan for today. 
you are a helpful chatbot as the instruction. Now I'm going to run this python stream.py and click enter. Now we can see the response is getting generated by streaming. Now the final step is to integrate this with your Chainlit application or user interface. To do that, I'm using async OpenAI function, then added all the settings in one settings variable. Then I have two Chainlit decorator. One is cl.onChatStart and second is cl.onMessage. So this is triggered when the UI starts. This is triggered when you send a message in the chat interface. So here you can see it's getting all the history so that it can remember the context of the conversation. Same as before, we are using client.chat.completions.create and there we pass the message history and the stream equals true. Same as the for loop which we had before, here we have a for loop. We are appending the result to the message history and finally message.update, that's it. Now we have successfully created a user interface for our AI application, which is going to look like a chatbot. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, chainlit run ui.py and then click enter. Now the application is running in port number 8000, which you can see here. I'm going to open this URL. And here is the user interface. I'm going to ask a question. Give me a meal plan for me today. And clicking enter. And you can see the response is getting generated. This is directly from LM Studio, which we started using our CLI. Now here is asking a few more questions. Do you have any food allergies? Are there any specific interest? I'm going to say everything is your choice. And you can see it's generating the response using the context we provided earlier. Now we have successfully created a chatbot, which is directly interacting with LM Studio, running completely locally on your computer. Few other commands which I want to tell you. One is LMS unload. So just type LMS unload hyphen hyphen all and then click enter. So now it unloaded one model. So initially if you saw, we loaded one model, which is Llama 3, and now we have unloaded it. Now I'm going to test LMS LS and click enter. Here now you can see there's no model loaded based on the command we entered. I'm going to load the model again and there's LMS log stream. This will automatically stream the log. That means whenever this endpoint is used or API is used or the server is used, you can see the log here. So for example, I'm going to run this parallelly, I'll write an email to my manager about holiday and then click enter. Now you can see immediately, you can see the log on the right hand side. Similarly, whenever you start typing, you can see the log on the right hand side. In this way, you are able to track if any error occurs. Finally, you can stop the server by typing LMS server stop and then click enter. I stopped the server on port number 1234. Now it's all done. Now you are able to create an application like this or chatbot like this and able to integrate that with LM Studio. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.